Okay, we'll compute this right here. Sine of 86 degrees times cosine of 26 degrees minus cosine of 86 degrees times sine of 26 degrees. Well, of course, we will not be using a calculator for this, right? And you notice that 86 and 26, they are not nice angles, right? But if you look at this expression, we have sine, cosine, and then cosine and sine, and there's a minus in between, right? It reminds me of one of the formula, isn't it? That involves a sine, and this is the difference of angles for sine, right? And let me write that down for you guys right here. This is what we can use, and this is what we know, right? So we know that if you have sine of the difference of two angles, so I'll put this down as sine of A minus B, this is going to be what? Sine of A times cosine of B, and then minus cosine of A times sine of B. Right? And you see, the right-hand side match exactly with what we have right here. In another word, we can just go ahead and merge this together into the left-hand side, into this, isn't it? So, this right here, as you can see, it will be your A and B, and A and B, right? The angles right here. So, together, we'll end up with just a sign and then we'll have 86 degrees minus 26 degrees. So let's put that down. 86 degrees minus 26 degrees. So be sure, whenever you have an identity, you know how to work this out left and right, from right to left, and things like that, all right? Back and forth, back and forth, that kind of thing. Anyway, you'll see this is just the same as sine of 86 degrees minus 26 degrees, which is 60 degrees and now, we can do this, right? Sine of 60 degrees, let's go ahead and draw this triangle real quick. This is my 60 degrees triangle, and then we have the square root of 3, and this is 1, this is 2. In another word, square root of 3 over 2. And this will be the answer for that, and that's it.